The fabled Voss. A few overblown words and everybody rushes to one tiny little planet. Even us. Their predictions have all come true? It turns out both the Republic and the Empire believe these stories. They're competing to sweet-talk the Voss into an alliance. Who's winning so far? The Voss. They're getting gifts of technology, trade, diplomats, hanging on their every word. There's a Republic ambassador in the Voss capital who might help us. Sophia Farish. Perhaps she could get us to the mystics. One must listen in order to learn. Fine, then listen. But we're not here to indulge your curiosity. We need soldiers and allies. Watch yourself. Remember, if you pursue the mystics, you'll be right in the Empire's way. And of course, the Voss were delighted when we bloodied those Gormak savages. Imperial training, you see. How lovely. But my guest has arrived, so you may leave. Of course. I'm sure one Jedi will make all the difference. My apologies. He tests a kitten axe, Patience. Sophia Farish, Republic Ambassador. What brings you to Voss, Master Jedi? I need to speak with the Voss leaders about recruiting some mystics to my cause. You... what? I... I should explain. Sith Lords have taken entire systems to war to gain a single mystic healer. One mystic visionary can change Voss culture with... with a word. And you want them as soldiers? How can one person wield so much influence? No mystic's prediction has ever been wrong. It's the foundation of Voss society. Please understand, mystics are rare. Only a few are born in a generation. And with the Gormak tribes expanding, there's even fewer. It's become too dangerous for potential mystics to go on pilgrimage and finish their training. Surely the Voss would be grateful if someone protected these young mystics? The Voss are irrational about interference with the mystics, though they might be more accepting of a Jedi. And if they saw you help a potential finish his training... But it's long odds. Only one in a dozen actually becomes a mystic. If the Force is truly with us, failure is impossible. I hope you are right. Now, Athel J is gifted, but hasn't studied much, and Heen Sa is sympathetic toward the Empire. Or, there's Gaiden Ko, an acquaintance of mine, a potential visionary. If he becomes a mystic, he's entitled to a huge entourage, including healers and Voss commandos. I will speak to him. Havran, please book a room at Bastan's tea house and send an invitation to Gaiden Ko. Sorry, Madam Ambassador. Gaiden Ko left Vaska with his family group this morning. He's gone without a real escort? They'll be killed out there! Jedi, you have to go after them! He will have gone to the closest holy ground, a cave below the mountain. Oh, wait. The ritual. Before you enter, cut branches from these trees here and here. Their scent will make you pure enough to walk the holy ground. I respect the Voss and their traditions, but is this really the time? You're an outsider. If you go there unpurified, you'll offend the Voss and push them closer to the Empire. Be careful. Away from Voskar, the Imperials' manners tend to deteriorate. Sorry, I'm still... Everything's so hard. I keep thinking Father's gonna walk in and say, Cheer up, Nadia. The sun shines on a smile. Like I was a child. I hated it. Now I just want to hear it again. Would it help if you heard that from me? That's so kind, but it's not the same. I want to stop hurting. I want to be like you. You're so composed. 
I just imagine anger or sadness becoming a small, gray pebble. Anyone can cope with a pebble. Hmm. I'll give it a try. Maybe as your Padawan, I'll understand better. The royal family called the ship. They asked for me personally. Can you imagine? They want me to be their new representative. They obviously don't think I'm as good as father. But I told them my plans, and I'll earn their respect. Taking this on has clearly been good for you. I've cleared my head, and doing father's work has helped too. I want to use this chance. My people can learn a lot from the Republic, especially from the Jedi. We've never had a chance to talk about where you come from. It's mostly forest. Cutting road can take years because of all the thorn traps and wild animals. So our defense technology focuses on protecting our cities. The force fields light everything at night. One day I'll be back there. But not yet. There's too much to see. I was thinking about all the places we've been. Quesh was fun. Apart from those Imperials all over our research station. And before that was the Fortitude. Oh, the galaxy's just... So violent. How do you cope? As Jedi, we look past momentary chaos and strive for the ideal. In this case, galactic harmony. It must be why you Jedi train so hard. Sorry, I, I mean, we Jedi. Father could never accept the Republic wasn't perfect. He loved the dream of it. I wonder how that dream will change. For the better, I hope. There's word from Balmora. People are calling me politician, not terrorist. A good start. But I want the opposition leader's post. To critique Ty Corden, keep him honest. So how do you plan to become opposition leader? I want one of Ty's officials to support me. Secretary Varum would do. Ty trusts him. But Varum's rich, stubborn. Hard to persuade. Make your case to Secretary Varum that Ty will need strong opposition. It won't be enough. Varum's paranoid, terrified of another Imperial attack. He created a militia to guard Ty. Funds it personally. I could tell Varum that Imperials infiltrated his militia, but my people stopped them. With a little evidence, Varum owes me a favor. Easy. Alternatively, a statement congratulating Varum on his militia's dedication would make him very grateful. Gratitude's fragile, but that would be faster. You think like Greystar sometimes. You never told me what happened to him. Greystar was betrayed. The blasted Empire got an operative into our cell. We scattered, but kept up the fight. War's over. But we lost too much. We generator. The initial equations have been... difficult, but with Holiday's help, I'm almost ready to progress. I've just hit a minor obstacle. I find myself needing your help, dear Jedi. If I can do something to make your generator a success, just ask. I find myself in need of inspiration. On Nar Shada, a particular spiced wine was a marvelous tonic. A friend has offered to send me a case if I get him an audience with the Jedi Council. Why does he want to speak to the Council? He's searching for new trade routes, I believe. Now, I have a message for the Council ready for your signature. What do you say? Don't fall back into bad habits. If you wish, I can teach you a technique to improve your mental discipline. My bad habits and I have come far together without Jedi navel-gazing. Oh, I'll try it. On the condition that you arrange the audience if it's not a success. How interesting. I... Do excuse me, Jedi. I think I see where I've been going wrong.
The equations are done, and we're about to start building the actual Van Drake generator itself. But we're finding components hard to come by. My suppliers are being ludicrously unre- What's an unpaid bill here or there? If only I could regain my supplier's favor with, say, a note promising payment will be made, signed by someone trustworthy. No one's more honorable than Kaizen. Let's ask him. Jedi, don't be silly. You know who he means. You have the power to do me an immense kindness with one little signature. I'd be eternally grateful. Give me the note and I'll guarantee payment for you. Such generosity. I promise this is the last time I will intrude upon you. Thank you. I'll have the parts I need in no time. Good news. One of my guys from Hoth got a promotion. Private Lavik made it to specialist. Please send him my congratulations. Thanks. I'll let him know. He's gone to Ord Mantell for training. I was there right after my transfer from... Felucia? No, Dantween. Ord Mantell. That posting was lousy. I imagine it seems rather trivial since facing Captain Balon. Hoth was a bad mission in good company. This was the other way around. I was in a unit scattering a separatist training camp, setting noise charges, ambushes, that sort of thing. But Lieutenant Jorgen had seniority, and he let me know it. Snap inspections, status reports. Every day he was up in arms about something. Did you get used to it eventually? I said yes, sir, when he ranted. Then did what was best for the unit. Maybe I'm being too hard on Jorgen. He was a good soldier. He's probably a general by now. We did the job and didn't lose a single man. Jorgen got a commendation. I got transferred to Sirocco, then to Duro, then Hoth. If you shared responsibility with Jorgen, you should have been recognized for your achievement. Thanks, but I don't get commendations. I get a well done written on the back of my transfer orders. I hope Private, sorry, Specialist Lavik appreciates what he's got. The arti fulquamas limis caligal. Zraben jigiawa magoliest ki buru jiasnu. I'm happy to give you the chance again, Hello Voice. Gorf kyodian, ties ziti kur mili kiest madwa. Kabiest mechetur, janur kriske indi jorkiest meta. I can scarcely imagine such a cataclysm. The arti fulquamas limis caligal, zoekie or afar giet tagmak torst hital getiet. When we speak of such things, we use the word abomination. Quatra ratias ge tot, cabiest mechetur janor griske imdi jorkiest meta. You and your followers aren't violent. You tried to work with other races. Got for be mwatar. Bless me at minija ta il taya. Kawe mahue jelu kolost je hafne sinjestka. How do you intend to lead your people once we face the Empire? Jirestre bojest kadurst diest tietko madwar. Ah, foca, tamitre ingebrest, bies jara carestia. Hem hiefne afrigiest linixtic tiestle ile. I was hoping you'd have time for a quick strategy session. I was running a few scenarios repelling a boarding party, what if someone gets captured, stuff like that. I have to ask. What do you want us to do if you're taken by the Empire? Get yourselves to safety, and send word to Tython. The Jedi have emergency procedures in place. I bet they've had to use them, too. Okay, I'll log the order. Not a pleasant topic, I know, but it never hurts to plan in advance.
things are quiet back home for now. So, I'm gonna focus on my Padawan studies. Um, I read the text the Council sent me, but I still don't understand what a Padawan does. All Padawans must first learn humility. So find a mop in a bucket and start with the cargo hold. Humility, huh? The Master Satil told me to tell you a Jedi Master needs humility more. So do it yourself and stop teasing your Padawan. Or we could forget it and start my first lesson. First, aggression, hatred, and fear can drive even the noblest Jedi to evil. You must always guard against these emotions. But what about the Empire? How can you not hate them for everything they've done? Maybe I should study something else. Remember the tenets of our order. There is no emotion, there is peace. There is no ignorance, there is knowledge. There is no passion, there is serenity. There is no chaos, there is harmony. There is no death, there is the Force. I should write this down. Thank you. I don't mean to be so slow. Everything is so new. Your abilities are already exceptional. You just need some theory and practice. I want to be a good Padawan. Whatever you can teach me, I want to learn. Oh good. I hoped you'd have some time. I've been trying to study, but Dr. Cedric keeps coming to talk to me. He's offering to give me an astronomy lesson. You've known Dr. Cedric longer than I have. Um, how can I tell him no? Nicely. If Theron's bothering you, Holiday's the best person to put a stop to it. For a hologram, she's good at keeping Theron in line. I need to know her secret. Thanks for the advice. I'll get caught up on my training. Don't worry. So you know, I may not be available for training for a while. And issues come up back home. It's a real puzzle. Perhaps I could help you solve it. See... A guild back home is building a new spaceport. They want me to petition the Senate for Republic help. Trouble is, the guild wants to demolish the Annex of Kespin and build the new spaceport on that site. The Annex is our oldest ruin. To be honest, it's collapsing and sort of dangerous. But it's sacred. Surely the guild could build the spaceport somewhere else. Clearing another site would take months. The forests around the capital are just too dangerous. We need that spaceport, but the Annex is so old. What would you do? Spend the credits on renovating those ruins. You'll preserve your heritage and attract Republic scholars. No ignorance, only knowledge. All right, I'll spread knowledge. Phew, I feel better now. Thanks for talking this over with me. I take it this was all part of some plan. So you made Lech lure us here, thinking you could add Kaizen to your body count? I have no wish to fight you. But if you attack Kaizen, I will retaliate. You used information your enemy didn't have. A powerful weapon. Good work. Trandoshan working with the Wookiee? 
That's unprecedented. Did you get any idea of where Venom might be from the Hollow? Do you have a minute? Um, you know that stone I've been practicing my levitation on? I sort of, uh, exploded it. If focusing on the stone is the problem, focus on the space around the stone instead. The funny thing is, I managed to hold the stone bits together for a minute or two before it went everywhere. So, progress. Anyway, if you're wondering about the dust in the Axis Corridor, that's why. Accusations are ridiculous. The Republic has only tried to protect the galaxy from the Empire. The Empire offers more power and protection than the Republic ever could, minus the rigid codes of morality. The Empire forgets. The Voss protect themselves. Let us pause here. I believe the Ambassador has some introductions to make. Lord Beldis, speaking on behalf of the Empire. Laren Kai, Envoy to the Three. It's a pleasure to meet you. Ambassador Janik asked for this meeting. One might even say he was desperate for it. I'd like to show the Voss something different. An example of everything the Republic stands for. This is your example? The person responsible for attacking Moff Kilrin in defense of a known fugitive? I think we both know that's not true. Outsiders lie. Off-world conflicts mean nothing. The Voss look forward. Outsiders look back. I will say no more. An excellent example, Ambassador. Weak and hopeless. Like you. The more Lord Beldis talks, the worse the Republic looks. We have to show the Voss what Sith like him are really after. Get rid of Lord Beldis. Problem solved. We're better than that. I can expose him. I just need proof. We know Lord Beldis has spies in Voska. Our scouts think he's using some defunct Vos comm towers to communicate with them. The comm logs can prove Lord Beldis has designs against the Voss. I need someone to make it past the Empire's defenses. I'll handle it. Get those comm logs quick as you can. I'll be waiting. Spin this all you like, Ambassador. You tampered with Voss communication towers. Is that a fact, Lord Beldis? I suppose I forged the Imperial comm logs that came out of them, too. Stop. Neither were present. Both are blind. Those involved will answer. Did you strike against Voss? I was acting on behalf of the Voss. The Voss were unaware. The towers were abandoned. No Voss were harmed. This will not happen again. I can personally guarantee that, Laren Kai. You against the Empire, and me against Lord Beldis. I'm not sure which fight was harder. How can Laren Kai ignore the Empire's crimes? He's been fed lies and false promises by every outsider he's met. I don't blame him for wanting undeniable proof. The comm logs don't implicate Lord Beldis directly, but they prove he has Imperial spies in Voska. One of them is Malcolm Terax. Terax is one of Imperial Intelligence's best agents, but now he'll be executed. We can't let that happen. You think an Imperial spy will help us? If we save Terax, he might talk. The SI... I'm willing to bet they're here for Terax. 
I'll be there shortly. I'll make the arrangements for a deal with Karax. I just hope he's still alive. A Jedi? My thanks. My family was not enough protection. All happenings are necessary. Still, their deaths... trouble me. Your family is not lost. They have returned to their source. Beg pardon? Source? It means your family's alright. They're not suffering anymore. These deaths... have a purpose. Pilgrimage would have revealed it. My journey ends. My family gone. Holy grounds defiled. An outsider trespasses. I came hoping to accompany you on your pilgrimage. A Jedi protector exceeds a commando skill. You're an outsider. Can I trust someone, not Voss? I can only be who I am. To trust me is your decision. You may accompany. When I become mystic, you shall witness my visions. What's next for us? I go to Novices Hall at the Shrine of Healing. The healers will be honored to teach me. First, a marker on the pilgrimage path. I pay homage to Li Shina. Gaiden Ko, your family should be laid to rest before we leave. I will send word. Time is short. Pilgrimage will explain this. You leave first. Call on your device if it is safe. I follow. The pilgrimage path awaits. Malcolm Terax? The Republic's offering you a pardon. In exchange for information. Oh, th that's kind of you, Jedi, but I'm not that easy. The things I know are worth more than my life. What makes you think I'll share any of them with you? I'm the only thing standing between you and a firing squad. It's not that simple. Imperial traitors are death-marked for the rest of their lives. I help you. I forfeit my nice, quick shot to the head. The Empire will hunt me down and make me pay. So for the Republic to give me a fighting chance, I'll need credits, supplies, and transport off-world. Perhaps I'll leave you here instead. We both know you won't. Safe in the arms of the Republic. I've been waiting for you. Malcolm Terax is on a transport bound for Coruscant. His price was steep, but worth it. There's no way Lord Beldis can talk his way out of this. Terax was in Vos Ka to identify failed mystics. Lord Beldis is offering them an alternative. Joining the Sith. What is Lord Beldis planning? Lord Beldis has found the Voss's weak spot. He converts enough failed mystics, and the Empire won't need an alliance. I'd offer an alternative, but the Jedi see the mystics as a threat. Being cautious about the mystics isn't a crime. If it ruins the Republic's chances at an alliance, it should be. When Terax finds a failed mystic, he sends them to the ruined city, the remains of an ancient Vos settlement. The Sith have a training camp there. If we catch them with the failed mystics, the Vos will have to take notice. Consider it done. I'd like to talk to the failed mystics myself. Calm me as soon as it's safe. You've hunted across this galaxy for years. Surely someone owes you a favor. 
atrás no regresar en Ognak durante el Gorsk, Skogia atrás por Dargorsk, Navarsky, Odorticha, Ordavrapsa, Retas. If Mako might know something about Venib, let's not waste any time. Skocharad mask, Osla, Svetod Tragis, Utapolua, your scout, Pope. Can we talk? I had a dream about that ship where Father died, but its corridors went on forever. Father was calling and I couldn't find him. Everything I've lost. I meditate and study, but it still hurts. Shouldn't my training make this better? Emotion, yet peace. These feelings will pass. Your inner peace cannot be lost unless you allow it. It's hard to remember when you're crying in the middle of the night. Becoming a Jedi is not easy, is it? Ambassador Janik, I'm in the ruined city. There are no Voss here. I'm afraid Ambassador Janik's comm signal has been jammed. He won't be joining us. It's strange. It's almost as if you want the Voss to condemn you. So far, you've stolen files from Voss installations, freed a condemned criminal, and done murder in the ruins of an ancient Voss city. An interesting strategy. It's a big mistake to think this is over. What have you shown the Voss? Fear? Weakness? Desperation? Everything the Republic stands for. I've given these outcasts a purpose. If one Sith can strengthen a failed mystic, imagine what the Empire can do for Voss. Come see for yourself. Our coordinates are in this console. My acolytes would welcome the chance to show off their skills. The time for discourse is over. Come when convenient. My acolytes and I look forward to your arrival. Look, acolytes, another attempt to cast you out, just as I foresaw. Like the Voss, the Republic has deemed you unworthy. They send their best to kill me and end your instruction. This is the only way you could get Voss to join the Empire. The Empire has made us strong. The Voss refuse us. Lord Beldit is our mentor. As Sith, we have purpose. We have chosen. Once you've served your purpose, the s Have patience, Acolytes. There are other powers in this galaxy besides Foresight. Who else will share them with you? There are others. The Jedi. The Jedi fear us. We know only their power. Would they teach us? The Jedi are waiting for you to ask. We are willing. Republic lies. The Jedi will never let you achieve your full potential. I've given you freedom. True power. I won't allow anyone to take it away. My purpose? This is not power. Mystics are chosen. We let failure overwhelm us. We must find our place. It may be with Jedi. The Jedi need to understand the mystics. We will share. We must return. Thank you. Master Delsa, I had no contact with the failed mystics. The Republic had nothing to do with this. Yet the Voss claim your agents promised them a home in the Order. Shall I ask them? Any mystic, even a failed one, is raw, dangerous power. How could you offer them Jedi training? The Jedi can teach the Voss to use their power. And when they turn against us, 
Or hadn't you thought that far ahead? I've said my piece. Ambassador Janik tells me Laren Kai is on his way. I'll leave you to your diplomacy. I have to admit, when I wished I could force the Jedi to accept the mystics, I didn't think you'd actually do it. Jedi follow the will of the Force. You don't have to deal with the fallout. I didn't think relations between the Order and the Republic could get any worse. No matter how the Jedi feel, the Republic needs this alliance, and you brought us one step closer. Remember that. A lost potentials confirmed Lord Beldus's crimes. I have not come to discuss it. The mystics have a vision. An outsider will end the threat of the Gormak. We believe it is you. I'm honored, but there are a lot of outsiders here. You protected the lost potentials. Our interpreters considered this. The mystics see. The three decide. The Voss act. You are not Voss. Will you follow this vision? If the mystics saw it, my answer doesn't matter. You understand. Ambassador Janik has your instructions. Farewell. A vision of the Republic helping the Voss. What incredible luck. Let's see where they want you to start. Laren Kai is bound by the Mystic's vision, but he wants to be sure you're prepared. He's asking that you complete the Mystic's trials at the Shrine of Healing, something no ordinary Voss has ever survived. I'm no Mystic, but I'll find a way. You'll need to make the pilgrimage to the Shrine of Healing. The guide, Suva Rock, leads a pilgrim camp near the local transport. You make it through these trials, and the Voss will be more than impressed. I'm counting on you. Here, the heart of Lishina's marker. The step on your journey is complete. Ruins were built by Lishina and family. A symbol. Mystics are supported by all. Something is improper. Ah! Idiot boy! A perfect strike ruined by a centimeter. No matter, that scratch will finish you soon enough. For this, you'll never lift a lightsaber again, Sith. Predictable arrogance. There were whispers in Voskar of a Jedi stupid enough to escort a young mystic away from the city. But when they hear the brat died in your care, the Voss will see the Republic very differently. Don't move. I'll be with you in a moment. <laughs> the boy's as good as dead. The toxin on that blade was an exotic Republic compound, as any investigation will show. Even a drop is eventually fatal. The destiny of the Voss is to join the Empire, and it is you who have made this possible. Think about that as you die. You fight admirably for a Jedi, but not even the Voss can save your Republic. You are dying. Release your hatred. Feel the sanctity of this place. So naive, but I feel calm. My wound... freezes... burns! Moving will only spread the toxin faster. The Shrine! Take me to the Shrine of Healing! You mustn't die! Jedi, can't you do something? The Shrine's healers... Please, be sure it is safe. Then call, we go! You outsider, you are not Gaiden Ko. What happened? It doesn't matter, he needs medical attention. Come, Gaiden Ko, to the healers. The shrine is not for you. And I thought being a Jedi Master would get me into all the best shrines. The shrine is not for you. The trials protect the upper levels, they're for mystics. I honor your traditions, but I must get inside. Only those who respect our ways enter the trials. Suva Rock at the Pilgrim's Camp can explain. I will inform Gaiden Co. if you die. I am Orin Va. 
Ashamu. Gaiden Ko is our patient. You acted quickly, but the poison eats at him. We require another of great mental or physical strength to purge it. If there's anything I can do for Gaiden Ko, just ask. We need you. Healing takes life from one to save another. Painful, survivable. You appear worthy. Your friend also seems worthy. Gaiden Ko is fortunate. Will you take the risk, outsiders? We have to do something. I accept the dangers for Gaiden Ko's sake. Gaiden Ko grows weak. Outsider, be prepared. We begin. Pain feeds on pain, Jedi. I thought you were unconscious. I am the part of Gaiden Ko that suffers and must be healed. Pain feeds on pain. You know this from battling the Empire. So how does one cope with the Tyrant? Or the Scalpel? Resisting the Tyrant reveals his weaknesses. Enduring the Scalpel leads to healing. Yes. Endurance leads to insight and strength. Your understanding will make this exchange easier. The treatment is complete. Gaiden Ko's recovery begins. It's over. You should take a minute before we go anywhere. Impressive. Gaiden Ko is stronger for this. Here. To aid your recovery. Leave when you wish, outsider. Go well. I am improved. My attacker's weapon. Another Jedi? No. He was a Sith Lord, corrupted by the dark side of the Force. I saw you ease his death. It's what makes us better than the Empire. My journey is not right. My vision should begin to make me wise. Every Force-aware culture has trials. Perhaps this is how the Force prepares a mystic. Your Force is yours. I am Voss. Enough. Pilgrimage. I must contemplate a stone carving at the Holy Grounds. A potential who contemplates receives a sign. Guidance. I will need protection. Connection lost. I promise you will not be harmed again. The carving was broken. First, we gather the pieces. I speak with healers. Go, rest. Call on your device when all is ready. A sign to guide me. Soon, my first vision. Have done well. I'm Jorda. I observe potentials. The trials are perilous. Few survive. The power of the mystics shouldn't come easily. They realize their importance. Seers, healers, guides, no trial can prepare them. One much like a mystic now protects the Voss. The trials end here. I'm honored to have completed the trials. One lesson remains. The trials have given you insight. A vision. I thought only mystics could have visions. A mystic will see. The vision is yours. These ancient tablets guide a mystic's thoughts. Meditate. Focus. You will find what you seek. Clear your mind. Focus. Fate has sent me a challenge. I had hoped for more time, but all things must adapt or die. I'll soon have an entire army at my back. Whatever you face, you won't be alone. The greatest challenges are those we set ourselves. The vision has ended. There is no more. 
I need to know what my vision meant. A mystic can only see. Our visions are certain. We choose our response. The trials have ended. Farewell, outsider. The pattern is... is... no vision or sign. Improper. Insights come in their own time, not at our convenience. I have waited. A shelter we... Gate and Co. Unescorted. It's good to see a friendly face. Do not say, Captain Voss Commandos. Our mission in jeopardy. We had to retreat. Gaden Co. Your intuition would help. No. I await a sign. There are no coincidences. You wanted a sign and these commandos arrived. You do not understand. I listen. For now. My sign waits. The Gormak mine are crystal outcropping. Crystals for mystics. The Gormak use the crystals. Tame beasts improve them for war. It must stop. What do the Gormak do to these creatures once they're tamed? Beasts are fitted with machinery. Crystals must be reclaimed. The Gormak have an army. We need help. Hunting Gormak. Proper use of my intuition. We can stop Gormak patrols. Their mining operation remains. I have few men. You are skilled. I'm not looking to die just yet. You will go unnoticed. We in Gaiden Cole will distract most Gormak. More guard the mines. Do this, please. We will meet you here. Gormak withdraw. We fought seven patrols. Are the crystals safe? Yes. And I believe this rightfully belongs to your people. This is for the Tower of Prophecy. Two commandos vanished. Gaiden Ko's tuition saved another. Something hunted us. Not Gormak. A potential mystic would be irresistible to an enemy scout team. We will search. I am not hopeful. I have finished here. Our last destination is ahead. The Deep Cradle. What's wrong? Is it the missing commandos? No. I... I must think. We leave. You cannot. The lands near the Cradle are corrupted. The Nightmare Lands. I have seen for myself how the Gormak target your holy grounds. They poison everything. There are protective rituals. Talon Day at the Commando Outpost will guide. We shall go. You both show promise. Goodbye. I... Jedi. A question. No need to ask permission, Gaiden Co. What is it? You were right. Commandos were the sign to guide me. The sign came without a vision. You need no visions. Do visions mark my people as special? Or needing guidance? The Voss are certainly unique. Beyond that, I cannot judge. Uncertainty is peculiar. Great questions are for mystics, not potentials. This is new. Visions or not, your pilgrimage is certainly shaping you for a role. I may never be mystic, but I learn. I'd like to think about this myself, when we get back. Jedi, it's Sophia Farish, the Republic Ambassador. We spoke in Vaska? It's good to hear your voice, Ambassador. I'm glad you're both all right. Hello, Gaiden Co. I heard what happened to your family. I'm so sorry. I seek its meaning. Jedi, 
Of course, Gaiden Co.'s pilgrimage is important, but I have a request. A Republic team has gone missing in that region. Our top archaeologist, Dr. Carrion, ignored the warnings and took an expedition into those nightmare lands. We haven't heard from him since. He must have been pursuing something important. He said the ruins might give important insight into ancient Voss society. I need a guide. Landmarks are changed. The deep cradle hides. Dr. Carrion might know. You've known where to go up until now. All looks improper. He filed an expedition proposal with his chosen campsite. I'll send you the location now. Good luck. And please, don't take any risks out there. Whisper all you like, la la la. They gave me a palace on all Sakan. I'd prefer a ditch on Alderaan. Calm yourself. I am a Jedi Master. No harm will come to you. You're a real Jedi. I thought the madness had finally gotten to me. I'm Lefri, an excavator. The ritual saved me, but the team... Everything's gone wrong. I was sent to protect you and your team. You couldn't have. This was everyone, apart from Dr. Carrion. The Voss said some ritual could protect us in the ruins. I figured, well, they'd know, so a Voss commando helped me do it. But Dr. Carrion said there wasn't time for everyone to see the native puppet show. He wanted to explore the Dark Heart. He sacrificed his whole team for impatience. The Dark Heart. A part is the Deep Cradle. Deep Cradle? Yes, that's the part of the ruin Dr. Carrion wanted to get into, but it's all sealed up. We spent days trying to open it, then suddenly the, the madness started. Dr. Carrion ran off, the others stayed and stared at me. No one deserves to suffer like that. I can't think about it. Only Dr. Carrion had any idea how to get the Deep Cradle open. I can't let you go after him. Please don't leave. I will be here. You'll stay? Okay. I'll track the doctor's locator, but he's, you know, not a person anymore. Though... If he still has his hollow journal, his field notes should be in there. With luck, it hasn't been lost in the wilderness. If you can get his hollow journal, I'll play it for you. And hurry! We wait. Good. Good, you're back. And so, Dr. Carrion gave you his hollow journal after all? Unfortunately, I was forced to kill him. Dr. Carrion, too, huh? Well, that makes his journal even more important. Let me see. Please don't be encrypted. Wandering off? This team's eccentricities are getting unbearable. The Deep Cradle's secrets should make up for it. It started like that. Here, the next entry's a few days later. Following me about, I led them here, and now they're... they're nameless. A switch. A little switch behind the cradle's third stone. I can't think here. Where did I leave my study? Listen, he said switch. The deep cradle's secret. Its altars grant enlightenment. It's time I take my leave. No, you can't leave now. I'll be alone. Maybe I can send it a little better. How long before I'm rescued? And what if the ritual wears off? You aren't scared. You're going to be calm, cheerful, and sane until help arrives. I guess I can stay calm, cheerful, and sane until rescue arrives. Take whatever supplies you need. I'll settle down with a book until the Republic sends someone. Good luck! When path is clear, call. I follow. Altars. I meditate for enlightenment. Any nesting beasts will wake. You'll be perfectly safe with me. Inside, my journey's end.
light in darkness. Grandfather? You died. The cave and the beast before my rescue. Whoever it looks like, this isn't really your grandfather. My memories are real. in my flesh, Gaiden Co. My breath fading. My last thought. Failure. Grandfather, stop! Hope remains. We sprang from this deep cradle. The altars root us. Life. Death. Duty. Here, all is possible. Ask, and life returns. Your parents, sister, cousins, myself, returned. Shall it be? These lands are corrupted. This apparition could be lying. I... My family... No. I must accept. Learn from what is necessary. I cannot be selfish. You shoulder a mystic's burden. Willingly. Training ends. Gaiden Co. Grandfather, your death. I do not understand. It will take your life to understand, Jedi. Your protection made this possible. The Jedi way is to serve. A reward is due. You walk a difficult path. If you seek truth, ask. Can you tell me who the First Son is? The First Son stands always behind you. He begins, does not end. Wait, you can't just leave it at that. A small token, hidden, to ease suffering. It is yours. Darkness lingers. Healing must begin, Jedi. Seek the divide. Gaiden Co. Farewell. Grandfather, I willed. Jedi. Wait, I see. The world is different. Beautiful. A vision. I... am a mystic. Congratulations. No doubt your people will be eager to welcome you home. Home. The three must know. Then, to Vaskar. Welcome, Jedi. I am Sun V of the Three. This is a joyous day. The interpreters speak. Gaiden Ko's vision is genuine. Gaiden Ko, we ordain you mystic. Be always wise. The completion of training marks a beginning. Not an end. I will remember. Gaiden Ko's entourage grows. Interpreters await. Healers travel from the shrine. Jenar say volunteers to lead his guardians. Has Gaiden Ko's vision been interpreted? The interpreters speak. Gaiden Ko's vision is clear. Unusually so. He must see your force. Both sides. He cannot learn here. Gaiden Ko must travel with you. If he is willing, Gaiden Ko is certainly welcome aboard my ship. I will see the galaxy that made you. We gain a mystic, now lose him to the outsiders. I am not lost. I will remain neutral. So should Vaska. Not Empire nor Republic. Not yet. Observe us both, then. Our actions will speak for us. We await your learnings, Gaten Co. Carry Voss with you. Always. I shall. Please, I must greet my entourage. Call when we leave. Hello again, Jedi. I managed to get away from the Embassy for a minute. Gaten Cole, congratulations. I knew you could do it. 
And now you're leaving? I tried to save Dr. Carrion's people in the Nightmare Lands, but we were mostly too late. Yes, that didn't quite go as planned. So I made other arrangements. My friend, Sophia? It's all right, Gaiden Co. Your true destiny is just beginning. When the Jedi is dead, I'll explain everything. You're stronger than you look. Those steeped in the dark side often mistake understatement for weakness. So it would seem. I intended the pilgrimage to truly test Gaiden Co. Power or death, hopefully yours. The first son will kill me for failing. But it doesn't matter. I've known the perfect enlightenment of serving the Emperor. Come with me. Let me save you from him. But who will save you? You don't know who the first son is. I'll share a little secret. Neither does he. You see, Jedi, some children never know their true nature. They sleepwalk through life until the Emperor wakes them. The first son serves the Emperor, then returns to normal, unaware. A politician? A soldier? Maybe one of your allies. Keep going. Tell me everything about him. I thought Jedi learned to be content with what you have. I trusted. I am betrayed. I'm sorry, Gaiden Co. I wanted to see you exalted at the Emperor's right hand. But you chose the Republic. I can't save you. We heard battle. The door was barred. Gaiden Co. Honored One, are you well? I am well, thank you. This woman needs to be taken into custody. We have had no Sith prisoners. Her fate is sealed. If we imprison Sophia, her master will find a way to ensure her death. He will not. She leaves Voskar. Jenner say, you can't let her get away with this. She takes the step of harmony, down from the mountain, leaves Voskar forever. I must respect your customs. Goodbye, Jedi. Enjoy your victory. You won't have many more. We return when all is done. from home about the spaceport, remember? They wanted to demolish the Annex ruins and build it there? There was some grumbling, but I think everyone's settled down now. I can't believe they really listened to me. I feel like a diplomat now, but all this training, I, I still don't feel like a Jedi. Negotiation and problem-solving skills are vital. You can't fix everything with a lightsaber. I know, but it's more than that. I want to walk the same path you did. Go to Tython, see the Jedi Temple, follow where the ancient Jedi went. I wouldn't be gone long. Long enough to explore, of course. I have all your maps from the ship's computer. I'm ready. If you go to Tython with a clear purpose, you'll get much more out of your time there. Sure. What do you want me to do? There's a settlement on Tython called Kalikori Village. The people there are poor and often hungry. They could use your help. Absolutely. I'll see what I can do for them. You're the best. I mean, I appreciate your great kindness, Master. See you soon. Tython's not at all like I imagined. It was even more beautiful. Peaceful, but wild, too. I could sense something there. Like the first Jedi who broke with the Order left some of that darkness behind. Tython is strong in the Force. And like the Force, it has both darkness and light. 
Not everyone can feel it. Actually, Tython's a lot like home. I wonder what I'd sense now if I went back there. It's like Tython's a place where, where my powers and the Jedi teachings meet. Even if I wasn't your Padawan, there's somewhere I'd belong. Thank you for letting me go there. I'll never forget it. How do you think my training is going? I can't say. Offering congratulations just inflates a student's ego. Aha. Uh -huh. So I'm doing okay? I thought so. I feel different. More myself. I've got a level of control I've never had before. It's great. I want to keep going. Listen to this. A woman back home asked me for advice. From what she says, it sounds like her little boy is Force-sensitive. She's asking what she should do for him, but I don't know what to tell her. She seems to think I know everything. Would be best if the boy was sent to Tython. He'll be accepted there. I suppose. I wouldn't want him to grow up like I did. I'll write back to her, and to Master Satil, so she can expect a new arrival. The Van Drake Generator is finally taking shape. We are a step closer to victory at the Symposium. Now we begin the most crucial stage, the Generator's core. And another Luminatus Club member, Shorjin Chalice, has offered to help with that. That's very generous of him. True. Plus he doesn't know his entry's doomed to fail against mine. Shorjin wants to trade some Exotech for components I need. But I left my juicier Exotech artifacts back at my store. You'll pardon me if I take a brief trip home to make the trade? We shan't be away for long. This Shorjin is a stranger. I should come with you. A kind offer. But Shorjin seems harmless. If I can't defend myself in my own store, I have greater problems than being attacked. Don't you worry, Jedi. No one hurts my Farron while I'm around. Hopefully Shorjin will have all the components I need. The Vandrake Generator's core is crucial to this entire endeavor. It's gratifying to know the security systems at my store are still intact. Shorjin Chala sends his regards, by the way. Charming fellow. Wrote his thesis on planetary shielding mechanics. Sounds like you've made a friend. He was kind enough to express some concerns about the components he was trading with me. Shorjin's components will certainly build the core of the Van Drake generator. But he claimed the stress of its operation will soon burn them out. My Vandrake generator will work, but it will work for a minute, at most, before it is destroyed forever. You have my sympathies. The Vandrake generator is an impossible machine, Jedi. To make an impossible machine work at all is a scientific marvel. A moment's operation should be enough to win the symposium. But after that... Forgive me, Jedi, I should double-check Shorjin's calculations. There may be something else I've overlooked. Uh, can we talk for a minute? There is something I think you should know about me. You have my attention. A few years ago I was captured by the Empire. I was scouting an Altier with my friend Milo and we ran into an Imperial strike team. I woke up in an Imperial cell with a headache. I remember Private Cree saying something about you being captured. Yeah, once he found out, he never got tired of needling me about it. When I managed to escape and reach a Republic ship, I realized I'd lost time. Seven days. Whatever happened to me is still a blank. What do you think happened to you? I have no idea. Nothing I come up with fits all the facts. Medically, I'm fine, but my commanders don't like it, so I get shuffled around wherever they need an extra blaster. That's why I keep being reassigned. I just thought you should know. I appreciate knowing this. Better you hear it from me than someone else. You know what bothers me most? Milo Pelham, the guy who was with me on Altier, got captured too. But no one ever saw him again. I guess I was the lucky one. Master Mele, I saw in Ben. 
is Minding Sajjan. What he means is, on behalf of the Republic, we welcome you. And your very impressive entourage. Thank you. I have three interpreters, seven healers, sixty commandos. Voss commandos are crack infantry and scouts. And with those healers, they'll be unstoppable. We fight the Sith. I will learn. My vision will guide. Jik inter, medeg dressed pastiat dan ilbi, for cost in pain. What about this first son, Jedi? Has anything new turned up? The ambassador you sent me to meet was actually a child of the Emperor. You're joking. Sophia Forrest? But I've known her since... Well, I'll pass on the news. I'm sorry to interrupt. Master Sio's hosting a war council. He said you should join in right away. Welcome everyone. Supreme Chancellor, may I present our new allies. I greet you, Gatenko, and Hello Voice. The Empire threatens our core worlds, and your strength will be vital in the days ahead. The core worlds founded the Republic we defend. They are centers of government and commerce. Our society would crumble without them. Now an Imperial fleet is en route to one of these besieged worlds, Corellia, carrying thousands of reinforcements. That fleet must never arrive. How many ships? Dozens? More than 30 troop carriers, but they aren't heavily armed. Our true problem is their escort. The Imperial fleet is protected by a dreadnought, the Javelin. Without it, we could scatter them easily. A functional dreadnought would be a huge asset in defending the core worlds. I need you and your alliance to capture the Javelin. You expect us to capture an entire dreadnought? You excel at the impossible. Your smaller force should help you to slip through the defenses, board the Javelin, and force the Captain's surrender. I must go. I leave this vital task in your capable hands. Good luck. Jedi, you have a rational mind. You know trying to capture a Dreadnought with the forces we have is utter insanity. If the opportunity arises, I'm fully prepared to cheat my way to victory. Ah, excellent. To begin, our ships distract the Javelin. You board. A fleet that size needs coordination. Jamming the Javelin signals will put them in disarray. Might buy us enough time. Taking a Dreadnought is a day's work. We should go along. Me, Theron, Kaizen, everyone. We each take a few Voss commandos and our holocommunicator. communicator. You head for the bridge. We split up and get the other sections under control. This mission will need all of us to stand any chance of success. Rock your hood, let's stand or Targorsk. Excellent. If you have this in hand, I shall go. Corellia's defenders would benefit from my help. May the Force be with you all. I've been thinking about home. The training's helped me be honest with myself. I'm not going back. I'll be their representative. But too much has happened for me to just settle there again. And I'm happy about that. You've given me a new life. All I want is to see the next horizon and keep learning with you. With that attitude, you might find yourself on the Council someday. Or going even further. And you'll get a paragraph or two of my biography. Come on, time's wasting and there's so much to do. We are in the dark room. Breaking Imperial coding makes me all tingly. Zenith sneaked off to security. I imagine he knows what to do with an Imperial security system. Ta-ta for now. Hold on, Jedi. Security system's being stubborn. Done. I'll watch for any more. Zenith out. Armory secure. They locked the door to weapons control. We're cutting through. Not to jinx it, but I expected stronger resistance than this. Might be a harder fight up ahead. Oreso out. Oh, greetings, Master Jedi. 
all parameters are met. My work can finally be demonstrated. I have a bad feeling about this. Obeying my standard orders, I've seeded this vessel with detonite charges. These charges are sufficient to destroy the javelin, its occupants, and nearby vessels. I apologize for any inconvenience caused. These reinforcements were bait. The Empire wanted our Alliance dead. Allow me to outline the genius of my work. I have placed multiple detonite charges in mathematically precise positions. All Imperial vessels have been signaled to withdraw, as the countdown has begun. So we just walked into a trap? By my calculations, even if dozens of the charges are disarmed, it is now impossible to prevent the Javelin's destruction. But if we disable as many as we can, there won't be enough of a blast to destroy our ships. You may attempt it, but my placement of the charges is flawless. There are charges on all main coolant regulation systems to ensure complete destruction. I'll send the bomb locations out to everybody. Do it. If we work together, we can handle the charges nearby and then run for the ship. A shame my accomplishment will soon be superheated vapor, but such is the nature of demolition work. Good day. Coolant regulation system ignited. Catastrophic structural integrity failure has begun. Destruction of the javelin is imminent. Please evacuate immediately. Repeat. Please evacuate immediately. Jedi, do you read? We're clearing the tactical stations and everything's flashing red. What's the situation? You and the commandos have to get to the ship immediately. All right, you heard her. Go. No, wait. Call us not. Take point. I can't leave yet. The Imperial crewmen were trying to erase these tactical stations. They might be carrying battle plans. I need to do a full download. Felix, in a few minutes the Javelin is going to be drifting debris. Sorry, I can't turn my back on vital intelligence. Blast! This will take longer than I thought. I won't be able to join you. The pods. I saw a rank of escape pods on this deck. I can make it down to Corellia's surface. Have you lost your mind? There's no time. I've got a way out. You need to go. Be safe, and we'll rendezvous on Corellia. Areso, signing off. Toria, I have no far yet. Zinius Jur Drukal Jasbru, Lihida Naka Miest Hija. Odarkitja, Skocharad Mas Osla. If we want Felix back, we can't stand here talking. We think the pod was caught in an automated landing system for Coronet City's shipyards. So it's probably there. Somewhere. To Corellia. To search. And to war. <laughs>